Hello and welcome to this tutorial on adding a Twitter widget to your WordPress site. Um, you'll see that I'm currently on my WordPress site here and uh, my widgets are on the sidebar here. I've got an image uh, provided and then some text and those are actually both text widgets and then I've got a word cloud here but I want to put a Twitter widget right below my text um, and you may put it wherever you want to put it but um, I'm going to go ahead and put one right here. So uh, to do that, I'm going to first go to Twitter and I'm going to log in and I'm going to create a Twitter widget from straight from Twitter. So the way you do that is you go up to your login to your profile and you click up here to profile and settings. And then as you scroll down, you'll see settings. And so I'm going to go to my settings and then at the very bottom, you'll see this option for widgets, creating widgets. So um, I'm going to go ahead, you'll see that I've created some already, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. And then that's where I, I could type in a username, which I'm going to use my username for the School of Journalism and Mass Communication. Um, you could also use other usernames, although I highly recommend using your own. You could also do a favorites list of, of uh, on, on this timeline, you could use a certain list that you've created of people to follow. You could do a search query if you want to and, um, and put that as your widget. Um, and then you have this option for collections if you've created any collections within your Twitter um, account. And so I'm just going to use my personal timeline, my uh, timeline for the School of Journalism. Um, you can choose whether or not you want to exclude or include replies. And I'm going to go ahead and exclude those um, just so people see what I update instead of what I'm replying to. And then I'm going to go ahead and let that those photos auto expand and you can see that that's happening right there. Um, and then I'm going to, you can choose two themes, light or dark, and I'm going to go ahead and just choose light. And then I'm going to go ahead and click create widget. Now I'm going to toggle back to my window here in my, my dashboard of WordPress and I'm going to access my widgets area. So just click on appearance and then click on widgets down here and you'll see that you'll be taken to the area where all of your widgets are appearing. Now I'm going to scroll down until I find my Twitter widget, Twitter timeline widget. It's going to ask you where you want to put this and I want to put it in my sidebar. I'm going to go ahead and click add widget and there it is. Okay. Um, now I could put whatever I want in this title. Um, I'm just going to say follow us and it wants a width. I'm just going to leave that blank for now because the Twitter widget lets me do that automatically and the height, I'm just going to leave at 400. Um, and you can decide the number of tweets you want to be shown. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick five. Uh, you may want five or 10, or if you want 20, 20 tweets to be shown, you could do that as well. Now down here, it's asking you to create a Twitter widget ID. And if you need help, go ahead and click that question mark and get help with it. But what it's asking for actually is back in your Twitter widget, it's going to ask for this long number up in your address bar. It, you see that the address bar says twitter.com slash widgets uh, slash settings slash widgets and then it gives you this long string of numbers. That is the number that um, WordPress needs. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and copy that number. Remember it's just between these slashes so don't use don't get the slashes in there just make sure you get this long string of numbers and that is what WordPress needs. I'm going to go ahead and copy it and then I will paste it right here where it says widget ID and I don't know why they make it so difficult for this but that's how you do it. You could also choose your own link colors and you should know these from our HTML discussion and um, and then you can choose whatever theme you want. I'm going to go ahead and press save and beyond that I also want to um, change the order of it. So in my timeline, instead of having it come kind of below the archives, I want it to be under my last text widget. So I'm going to toggle back and I'm just going to drag this up to come up below my uh, text widget. And it auto saves. So now when I press refresh, it should pop up. And there it is. The Twitter timeline pops up. And so then you can go back and customize it if you want to and change the number of tweets shown or uh, even change the border color or link color or anything else that you want to do. And that's how you add a Twitter widget to your page.